guys, I'm Zara Zell and welcome to our story! Are new here? Hi, I'm Zarazel, your Filipino mom, doing reaction videos online, and I also do live stream every 9:30 p.m. Philippine time. If you see this thumbnail, ako na yan, ready to chat with you. Yeah. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up and consider to join the family, Zarazel. Family. By the way, guys, my family and I do the rosary every 9 p.m. Philippine time po. If you have any loved one na gusto ninyo pong ipagdasal, you can comment it down below. Rest assured, mapagdadasal po namin sila. Alright, without further ado, mga lalabs, let's start! with our reaction videos no this is about women power yes being a woman being a business woman being a mom ayan tayo po yung mag-react sa mga videos na yan by project nightfall kung hindi pa po kayo nakasubscribe sa kanya he's on facebook and he does a lot of inspirational short videos so let's start with miss Angelina Jolie, why she chose children over her career. The real reason why Angelina Jolie chose children over her career and Let's start. Angelina Jolie raised six children as a single mom. But why would a huge Hollywood star with endless possibilities commit her whole life to kids? Doesn't she care about her career? Instead, she makes friends with her son's schoolmates in college, sells dog treats in the park with her children, or even cooks and eats bags. See the hard part where you have the teeth? Oh wow. Take the fangs out. Yeah. She must really love being a mother to make this choice. But behind this happy and flawless front, there's one person that Angelina owes it all to. This is the story of an amazing motherhood. Angelina grew up seeing her mother and father fight. Her father scarred her young heart. And when their family was torn apart, the one thing that kept her strong was her mother's unconditional love. My mother was it was a full-time mother. She didn't have yeah, much of her, her, her own yeah. career, her own life, her own experiences, her own, you know, everything was for her children. Her parents were both actors who loved films, but it was her father who got to pursue acting while her mother gave it up to raise her. We all know women in our lives who were never able to live their creative dreams because they had to put their families first who pour their creative work into homework assignments and birthday parties I think of my own mom but that's the life of, of a woman to think of others first is our nature As Angelina's career continued to rise her mother was always in the corner cheering her on She drove me to every audition and she would wait in the car for hours always make me feel really good all the times I didn't get the job and when I did we would jump up and down and scream and yell like little girls she supported any crazy thing I did but whenever it had meaning she made a point of telling me that is what a film is for but one day something horrible happened the support couldn't last forever her mother died Angelina wasn't prepared for it, it shattered her, but because of her mother's lessons of unconditional love, she found strength. Her mother's words continued to ring in her heart. She was very clear that nothing would mean anything if I didn't live a life of use to others. It was Angelina's mother who motivated her to become a selfless mother. 
So she adopted three children with different nationalities and has three biological children. Some people didn't understand why a huge Hollywood star with a power to live a life of no worries would choose to sacrifice her life for so many kids. But Angelina said that what she's doing is not a sacrifice, it's a gift. Her children became the source of her strength. That is why she was strong enough to face all difficulties, including her divorce with Brad Pitt. I don't want to say very much about that, except to say it was a very difficult time, and, and we are a family, and we will always be a family, and we will get through this time and, and hopefully be a stronger family for it. My focus is my children, our children, supporting them and everything I do I hope I represent something and I represent the right things to my children and give them the right sense of what they're capable of. When your children are your best friends it's kind of a it's a nice life. This woman is a strong mother who single-handedly raised six children but what is even more inspiring is that it was her own mother who showed her what it truly meant to love unconditionally. To be a mother who supports her kids when no one else does. A mother who puts her life on the line, who is willing to give up anything, even her fame and dreams. May Angelina Jolie be the voice of all mothers who commit their lives to their children. She carries that beautiful love inside of her because of her own mom. And that is a beautiful cycle of selfless motherhood. Mother loves unconditionally. Well, that's so true. Ah, being a mom, ah, it's, it has its ups and it has its downs. Selfless motherhood. It's really hard, actually, to be a selfless mother, to put your needs behind and unahin kung ano yung kailangan ng inyong mga anak. However, it's really an instinct. Once I became a mother, kung ano yung kailangan ng anak ko, yun yung inuuna ko. This is our second video for tonight. Again, from Project Nightfall, it's Women Power Today. Yeah, she is the world's youngest self-made female billionaire. So we have our special guest for tonight, Aurora. This is our second video for tonight. She is the world's youngest self-made female billionaire, Oliver. Let's see, Cousina Sha. World's youngest self-made billionaire. Night fam, let me start this video with a quick test. If I show you these faces, I'm pretty sure you know them. We have Gates, Bezos, Musk and Warren Buffett, some of the richest men in the world. Now, here is your golden question. Who is the richest woman in the world? Us! Us? Hmm, no, you do not. not know, do you? Because we rarely get to hear about wealthy women in power. And that is why today you are about to meet the world's youngest self-made woman billionaire. And before you even think of it, no, she did not inherit her wealth from a family business. No, she did not get rich because of who she married. This is the surprising story of Bumble CEO Whitney Wolfhead. It all started when Whitney co-founded the popular dating app Tinder. She actually used to work on her current rival. She helped grow Tinder with clever marketing and reportedly even came up with its name. But despite boosting Tinder's early success, Whitney was forced to leave. She accused two of her male co-founders of harassing her and if that wasn't enough, they even removed her co-founder title. And so, at the age of 24, Whitney faced a real deal struggle. When the media painted me as this, you know, kind of gone girl of Silicon Valley, it was devastating. I would open Twitter and I would have 
anything ranging from death threats to the most aggressive, nasty words, and I took them as gospel. Drowning in all the insults thrown at her, she shut herself from the outside world. But it was also during this dark time that she suddenly found an answer. Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, these were not spaces built by women. And I hated the way I was treated online and it scared me. Mm -hmm. And instead of letting that, you know, bury me, I decided to, you know, go out and build the solution. And that is how the billion dollar idea was born. A dating app where women are encouraged to make the first move. How many of you have agonized over, should I text him? No, no, you can't. You have to wait two days or three days. If I want to make the first move, if I want to go after what I want in my life, I should be able to do that without shame, guilt, or blame. Having suffered the worst inside the tech world, Whitney strived to create a safe virtual dating space that benefits all genders. They made sure the app blocks rude interactions so potentially abusive relationships can no longer prosper. And through new features, it empowered female users to also take the lead in making new friends and expanding their careers. In fact, over 80% of the company's employees are women. And as millions and millions of people swiped away on Bumble, Whitney made a big move that put her on top of the world. She took the company public in the US and became the youngest female CEO to ever do so. In a yellow power suit with a baby on her hip, Whitney Wolfherd joins a small group of self-made female billionaires. Fast forward to today, Bumble has grown to 100 million global users. And Whitney, well, she is 31 years old and she is the world's youngest self-made woman billionaire. When I was growing up, my grandma was like, are you dating a nice lawyer or a doctor or a CEO? And it's like, Grandma, no, I'm going to be a CEO. You don't have inspiration. a little bit of residue of anything against Tinder? Nothing? Mm, no, I actually don't think about Tinder. <laughs> Right now, in a world where a vast majority of rich people are men, Whitney Wolf Heard is proof that women with a noble cause can do incredible things when they turn their pain into power. If people are telling you that they don't believe in what you're doing, it means you're doing something out of their comfort zone. I want to Tonight. go to every corner of the earth where women are and make sure that that every single woman on this planet knows that they should make the first move. It's okay to make the first move and they are equal and they should be empowered. <gasps> Empowering women. Mm. If you haven't watched our other reaction videos, it's here in the whole playlist of our reaction videos. And if you have any suggestions for new reaction videos that gusto niyo yung gawin ko with my daughter, you can comment it down below. Yeah, so women power! Yes, empowering women. And behind every strong man is a strong woman. Something like that. Correct me if I'm wrong. Like and share, like and share. I'll see you all on our next reaction video.